I released about a year ago on Valentine's Day, uh, and I talk about how guys need to stop simping on women. Simping is when they give the woman everything they want, right? Yes, without them earning it, yes. Without them earning it? Yes. What does that entail? Uh, well, you know, being an asset to the man versus being a liability. Things like that. Okay. okay. And what makes a woman an asset versus a liability? Uh... Being peaceful, you know, helping him out with his business, making food, keeping the place clean, you know, being almost like eyes in the back of his head, letting him know what, what's going on, uh, just being useful, you know, versus like being a, a liability, because a lot of girls are liabilities nowadays. I agree with Especially that. Especially in Miami. I, I completely agree with that. You agree with that? And most women in Miami try to latch on men with money, but men with money have higher expectations because they can get what they want. Yes, yes. They can and, have higher expectations. And that's why I'm so big on guys getting their money together because when you get your money together and you become successful, um, you're just not willing to tolerate poor behavior from women. Correct. And I think uh, we live in a society now where um, guys are not taught to um, disregard women that uh, don't respect them, if that makes sense. Like, it's like guys kind of like, there's this mantra out there that like guys should just accept women however they come. And my argument is, no, you need to have boundaries and only accept the women that adhere to your parameters. But I think high-value men are very picky. They have to, yes. They are. Yes, yes. And that's the way it should be. And I think that's the way it is. That's why a lot of women are single. Yeah, but that's a minority man. I want more guys to be that way. The ones I talk to are like that. Okay, well, I mean, you're, you're talking, yeah, well, that's good. Uh, so you're talking to higher status guys, that's good. Correct. Um, but the thing is, is that I want more guys to have that mindset. How? Well, I mean, there's a whole bunch of situations here. I mean, you know, there's why men are the way that they are nowadays. You can talk about feminism. You can talk about equalitarian, uh, um, the, the concept of egalitarian relationships. There's a bunch of reasons why. But, um, you know, guys need to kind of operate with a mantra of men and women aren't equal and understand they're the leaders, which means since you're the leader... You're responsible. Since you're responsible, you need to be the protector, the provider, and um, lead your woman in a relationship. Well, men and women are different. Yeah. Anatomy-wise, anatomy mm -hmm. the male brain is different than the female brain. So For we have sure. different roles in society. So. Agreed. All right, so you agree with gender roles and everything else? Cool. I'm cool. Normal. Are you uh, Are you in a relationship right now? No, I've never been in a relationship. Oh, okay. I, I, you said the guys I talked to, so I assumed that you were in a relationship. <laughs> You said you gotta land one now, I guess. It's hard to find high value men. That is true. That is true. They're not easy to find. Um, you know, only about 15% of the US population makes uh, $100,000 a year or more. So, and that that's like all people men, women, gay men, lesbian women, married like married people. So, it's, it's very difficult for women. I mean, obviously in Miami, there's a lot of them, but then you gotta get into the whole. You know, are they attractive? Do I agree with their values? Are they? Are we compatible? You know, so money is just like one factor, but then you've got to go into all the other things. Is he charming? Is he charismatic? Is he interesting? Right. right. And that's why I've been single my whole life because everyone sucks. Okay. What is your biggest gripe with modern dating, though? My biggest what? Gripe. Gripe. Gripe, like issue. And to keep the mic close so they can actually hear you. Yeah, we should use. Can we? Can we use this mic, bro? Because it's a lot. It looks better. No one, no one catches it right there. Okay. It's catching it even farther than it. It is catching it from far. Okay. No one's what is Go my ahead. biggest issue? I mean, personally, I'm just very picky, and it's difficult to find high value How old are you? men. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Oh shit. Time's ticking. Thank you. You sound time's like ticking. all my guy friends. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, time's ticking. Thank you. I'd rather be alone than be with a piece of shit. Right. I'm lit. Like, if you're Invest not gonna add value guys. to me, bye. All right. Um, what is the minority, uh, excuse me, I said minority. What is the bare minimum a man has to earn for you? We're talking wages? You go monthly or annual? I mean, if you want to raise a family, then you need a lot of bread. <laughs> All right, so how much is that for you? Every girl has her number. What's that for you? 250 minimum. 250 minimum? Okay. Um, and then how tall has he got to be for you? Ooh. <laughs> Six. He's got to be six feet. Congratulations. That does, that's the top 1% of men. You ain't, even, you ain't even got the personality. Yeah, we haven't even gotten into personality or any of that other stuff. We actually talking. have a calculator that illustrates this. Do I have that calculator what? link by chance? You know what? I resent that statement. It's all about the whole picture. So if he has a good personality and good energy and a good vibe, <laughs> height doesn't matter. I'm serious. Why are you laughing, sir? It's just hilarious. Is that personality? Yeah. Okay. We have to vibe. If you're not going to make vibe. me laugh... <laughs> All right. 
So right here we got our handy dandy pressure fit male calculator. So we're gonna go ahead and put your dream man into this, okay? What is the minimum age he's gotta be for you? <laughs> 21. 21? Alright, maximum age? Like marriage? What? Is yeah, like a serious partner that you would. Oh. Minimum to maximum age? 40. 40? Okay. So 21 to 40. How, minimum height, we got six foot, so we'll put that in. Uh, race. You don't see that. I don't care. <laughs> you date an Asian guy? No. Okay. Uh, will you date an Indian guy? No. Okay, so will you date a black guy? No. Okay. So white and Hispanic, it looks like. Uh, Hispanic? Will you do Hispanic? If he's a soccer player. <laughs> All right, we'll just put white here then. Okay. Okay, minimum education for you? Bachelor's. Bachelor's degree? Okay. Do you have a bachelor's yourself? Correct. Where'd you get it from? University of San Diego. Okay. Um, and then minimum income, you said 250000 right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Can he be married? No. Okay. Can he be obese? No. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Mo. So now, just so you know, this comes from the 2023 Current Population Survey, National uh, Health and Nutrition Examination Survey, and the CDC. So this is the most accurate assessment of men in the United States. Okay. The calculator that one of our supporters made for us. So let's go ahead and build your man. Let's see what you score. He doesn't exist. Let's see how, how prevalent he is. Wait, why isn't there language minimum? He needs to speak two languages minimum. Oh, we're just trying to... Oh, now two languages too? No, yeah. I'm oh, telling you, bro. Like, the options don't exist. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know why. It won't click when I do this. Because he doesn't exist. Can you click that button? Like, I'm trying to click the build your man thing and it was being lame. Like, I have a language requirement. What's the second language he's got to speak? You got it? Okay, perfect. Like, preferably French. French? We. Oui. Okay, congratulations. You scored a five out of five cat bags. Um, as you can see here, 0.024% uh, of men qualify for you. I know, that's why I've been sick on my whole life. I'd so, rather be alone. So knowing that this man is literally less than 1% of the population, are you willing to lower your standards? I haven't. Okay. All right. There you have it. Uh, all right. Well, guys, invest in Chewy. That's why I invest in Chewy. And then, not, not to pick on you, but like a lot of girls say the same thing. We've interviewed over 3,000 women. And, uh, you know, this, this they very similar things they're looking for. Six foot, six figures a year certain age ranges, etc. And I would say 90% of the women that we poll literally describe the same exact man. Yeah, but they're all probably dumb. I'm actually not. Well, I mean, do you think men screen for intelligence as much as women do? Yeah. They don't. A high value one does. They don't. Inte uh, men don't care about... As a matter of fact, there's a study that shows this. The, more I the higher the IQ of a woman, the higher likelihood she stays single, as a matter of fact. For every six IQ points her ch that she had up, her um, ability to find a partner decreased with that. That's why high-value high women are single. Because well, I would argue, I would argue high-value women don't exist on their own. I'll explain what I mean by that. So, I think a woman can only be deemed high-value if she has a high-value man that she's in a relationship with. Marriage, specifically. Because the metrics that make a woman successful are not the same metrics that make a man successful. Okay. So, if we're going to talk about a man being successful, that's him getting his money on point, being in shape, being a man that other men respect, other men want to be, other women want to be with, um, creating change in the world, right? Versus a high-value woman is a woman that can attract and retain that guy. So, because, you know, a woman's success, unfortunately, isn't necessarily... Inter it's not of interest to us. It's not like when we meet a girl and she says, oh, I am a accountant. I make $200,000 a year. Like, guys don't really care about that. And I would argue the more money a man makes, the less he cares about his woman making money. So, so the, me the, the metric is different for each gender on it what is. makes them attractive. It is. You know? Um, so that's why I don't think that a high-value woman can exist unless a high-value man co-signs her. Now, with that said, a higher-status guy, rare, extremely hard to find. Most guys are mediocre at best. So, um, it goes both ways. Okay. So. But from what I hear, as long as a woman is hot and pleasant, she's high value. Only if she can get that guy to take her seriously. And how do you do that? She's definitely a prospect. Well, that's on the woman to retain the guy. You know, I think it's the man's job to attain the girl. It's the woman's job to retain the man. So mirror what he does. Support him. Yes. Yes, and don't be a pain in the ass. Right, and nowadays you have the boss-ass bitch women that 
do their own thing. Their opinion, that's- if a man tries to tell her how to act or what not to do, she's going to walk away. And that's why a lot of us are still single. Yeah. That's a pain in the ass. Boss babe women are um, insufferable a lot of times because they behave like men. Yeah. They literally behave like men. They're a boss. Because what does it take to be a boss? You have to be masculine, aggressive, competitive, non-agreeable. These are all traits that men don't like. Like We don't want to date ourselves. Think like a man, act like a woman. Because men just do things women don't. We overthink everything. Yeah, like, I mean, if I told you that I'm a metrosexual and I do my nails every week and I wore heels on Saturdays, you would see, look at your face. You would never take me seriously, correct? Good. So I find it interesting that women think that men are going to take them seriously when they behave like men. You wouldn't accept me if I was feminine. Why should I accept you if you're masculine? How are we masculine, though? And you literally just went over what boss babe women do. I see. That's a good point. You glad you're open-minded to it? It's all backwards. It's going to blow you away, but dumb women are actually the smart ones because they retain men. Right? A lot of times they do. Yeah, yeah. so it's all backwards. Yeah. I know it sucks, but dumb women win the game. They have husbands. But are they happy? Well, they got husbands. They're not alone. A lot of times they are. No, they're probably miserable. No, they're, they're not. Women typically get fulfillment from a family and children, and you can only get that with a man. That's why they're not interested in STEM. They're interested in what? What are they? I've brought so many career women on that make a bunch of money, they're in their 30s and they're childless, and they'll say, I regret pursuing a career making money. I wish I put more stake into being in a relationship and finding a man to take me seriously. Or it's the other way. They have a career, they were able to get a family, and they gave up that career for the family. It's one of those two situations. But typically, the children and the family always sets the precedence. The only time I've seen women say, oh, I care about my career and all this other stuff is typically when they're in their 20s. When they still have a lot of options. But as they get older, they start to mature and realize, damn, yeah, less options, money time and all this crap doesn't matter to me as a woman. Because for us men, we, we have the privilege, right? The convenience of being able to kind of stave off marriage and wait a bit. Versus I women, know. you guys don't have that same ability. I know. You guys have a finite amount of time to find a man. That is very correct. Welcome to the trauma bill. You are now fixed. I think she knew this stuff subconsciously, but like now I'm like putting it out into words but and she's like shit she's nodding her head a lot here's the scary part of my head. I know it's, yeah I see you. Even, I know. I'm I'm noticed, like even when women agree they always go home and forget what you said no. <laughs> they always go home and forget and do their own thing yeah it's, it's kind of sad yeah if girls listen to me I think we'd be, be in a much better position but I they mean, just I've call me a misogynist i okay, heard this all. all my guys all my friends are guys I know all of them oh <laughs> <laughs> What's your thoughts on that, Zerka? Oh, guy I, friends. Gotta have a lot of friends, right, Chad? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't no, think men and women can like be friends, to be honest with you. What's that? I don't think men and women can actually be friends. Why not? Because all men want... Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, see? You even... Yeah. If you hit those guys up and said, oh, I'm horny right now, they would run over here in two seconds. So she, I don't think men and women can actually be friends. Yeah, she knows. She knows. But she's smart. She's playing the game. Like, hey, I'm able to extract value from these guys. They give me good advice. I get that masculine energy. I don't got to fuck them. It's better than having girlfriends. So I understand. Yeah, girls suck. Damn. They're bitches. Are you sure you disagree with them? <laughs> Probably not, honestly. I thought she said she disagreed with you. What happened? Yeah, she did. I, 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 yeah. She's a misogynist. Right. Not me. No, I'm just kidding. You're not kidding. I'm just kidding. You're actually correct. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Cool. That was fantastic. Yeah, good. It was a good discussion. You wanna, uh, I don't know, say anything to the people? We got like uh, ten thousand plus watching on YouTube and on Rumble. This is live. Oh yeah, we're live right now. Look, we're on YouTube right now. Oh my goodness. YouTube and Rumble. Wow. Yeah, yeah. We got like uh, right now we got eleven thousand watching between the platforms. Oh my gosh! Wow. Actually, hold on. Wait, I didn't count Twitter. Yeah, we got almost thirty thousand between everything. I mean, honestly, I think men and females... 20,000, sorry. Men and females compliment each other, and I think we all need affection. But it's hard to find that sometimes. And in that, going off of that, you should be self-reliant. And that's why women are focused on their career, because a man can walk away at any second. So... I think that's why we're kind of career-driven these days. I understand, but men rarely leave women, though. Really? Yeah. yeah. Even if they're not, then they're cheating on her. Well, that's not leaving, though. But that sucks. Wah, wah. I mean, but they're not leaving. Okay, let me ask you something. What do you think of this whole theme of cougars? Because I'm I'm seeing it. Um, Cougars, um, they're typically used for sex only. Really? Yeah, typically, yeah. 
You mean we don't want to take care of their kids? Yeah, yeah. Like they're typically used for sexual access only. But it's in kind of a theme right now. I'm seeing it. For sex, yeah. Only. What does a cougar have to do? It's game over. Exist? I don't know. What's the advice for the cougars? They're doomed most of the time. Because <laughs> a lot of times they got kids too, so it's like, fuck, you're in your 40s and you got kids. It's like. But what makes you a cougar? What's, what's the age gap gotta be? I mean, typically it's women and middle aged women that have children. Typically. Is what a cougar would be defined as. Sometimes childless, but still in their. In their they're past their prime. So to speak. When does prime at 35? Uh, I, I would say a uh, woman starts to hit the deep uh, around 30. 30, 30 plus is uh, when things really start to go oh downhill. boy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I have good skin though. It's fine. Well, I mean, I guess, but like, I you know. It just depends how you take care of yourself. Of course, you can always push the clock back, but keep in mind that, you know, it's also behavior too. Women that are older tend to have certain behaviors that aren't necessarily the most conducive to attracting a man, right? The same self-reliance that you talk about, um, that tends to kind of perpetuate itself in conversations and um, it just comes out naturally. I mean, honestly, our society is just shitty and people now are meeting their significant others by swiping. That's disgusting. Oh my gosh, I just offended so many people. I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's okay. We, we say worse you things. Should, you should see our show. <laughs> yeah, we say like, worse things. Back in the day, there's all these meet cute stories of how a man met her husband. You really want to say, oh, mom, how'd you meet dad? Oh, like, we swiped on each other on a dating app. That's like, actually one of the fastest growing ways. But we're just, like, in weird times now, honestly. Yeah. It's one of the fastest growing ways of uh, people to meet nowadays. The internet, for sure. But that sucks. Globalized No, honestly, just shut me up because I'm just going to offend a bunch of people. Go ahead. It's all good. I mean, we're we're one of the most uh, politically. Oh. <laughs> you must not know whose podcast you're on right now. We are one of the most canceled people for sure. Like we we're, we say That's crazy. Why we're having a good dialogue. Yeah, yeah. We're not scared of. Yeah, we say what it is, man. We're not worried. We say uh, very. We talk about a bunch of different things that are considered uh, non politically correct. Sometimes, sometimes even slurs. Yeah. But not on you. Okay, America first. Are you with America? Yes. Are you not voting for Joe? Hell no. Oh, let's go. Joe doesn't know what day of the week it is. He doesn't know what time it is. Okay. Good. Just... Ever heard of Moshi Moshi? <laughs> maybe just some... restaurant? <laughs> yeah. We're going there after. Alright, maybe there's some. Okay. Yeah. Oh, um, so. Hi. Hey. Hey, what's up, man? How are you? Thank you, bro. Appreciate that. How's your night going? I'm sorry? How's your night going? Good, man. Just uh, We're live on YouTube right now. You want to say what's up to the people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 